What's up, everybody? Uh, we're covering GameStop like everybody else today in the Discord, uh, covering Tesla, the original meme squeeze, covering AMC, and covering Reddit, okay, where Reddit is where it kind of all began, which I think Reddit is the sleeper play uh, because Wall Street would actually back Reddit. Wall Street has never backed GameStop. It's never going to back AMC, um, and the flow is very small. The flow on GameStop, guys, went from $60 million to uh, $300 Three million, three hundred and six million. Okay, this is not the same play. I do want to just let you guys know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sound bearish, but I'm just speaking facts. Okay, uh, it's not the same play as it was before. Before the borrow rate, the cost to borrow was one thousand percent. We saw it on AMC and we saw it on Redbox, uh, which is kind of where my channel started. I started with AMC and Tesla back in the back of the day and Kodak and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but you know, I my popularity grew and I became monetized from from Redbox. It's nine percent. It ain't shit. A short can hold thirty nine dollars a share of short at nine percent because they held they held five hundred percent and they held a thousand percent. Like they don't care about nine. The float, as you can see, is three hundred and six million. That is six times more than before, right? Three hundred and six divided by like it was like 50 55 we'll call it 55 5.56 percent okay so it's like 550 percent larger float okay then then the, the last thing you need to understand is this had a stock split okay this had a stock split on july 22nd 2022 post squeeze of four for one uh so one share originally would be eight today but it was a four for one split okay a four for one stock split that means for every share you got four shares so you divided the price by four so if you look at today if you look at today's 3820 guys and you times it by four because the value of the share is cut in by a quarter the stock reached 152.80 today people out there they don't the retail and this is because keith gill posted for the first time in a few years of a man leading forward this is what's pro. This is the problem, almost. Um, this is the problem with retail traders: is they just buy shit on nothing. You know, it's unpredictable. The market doesn't really like unpredictability. I get it. Um, I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not like upset. I didn't get in this because I don't. I don't. I look at the company and I don't like the company at all. Uh, they they are being supplanted by just digital sales. I don't see a future for GameStop. I just don't unless they like Steam, <laughs> Steam, the Epic Game Store, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live. I just I don't see a place for them uh, other than in our hearts and, and you know and, and a moment in history where we the people stood up and some people made money. I made it on AMC. A lot of people made it on GameStop. Um, this doesn't shock me, but, but the problem as well with the shorts on this side of it. Okay. So here's where the bulls might be excited for one, the, the options contracts only go, oh, sorry. Uh, the options contracts only go to $34. If I go all strikes, unless they added some, yeah, they didn't. So they can't add them until tomorrow. They only go to 34. So puts puts at thirty eight. You could only buy a thirty four. You couldn't, which is scary for shorts because what if it goes to forty? What if it goes to forty five? You want to buy probably closer to the money. Um, problem for the longs too, right? Is you can only get thirty fours. Uh, so and you're paying the most. Look, look, look how much it's up. It, it was only one dollar at uh, um, close on Friday. It was one dollar. Not even, right? And then now, it, well, not even. It was like 30, 30 cents, guys. Now it's $6.15. So to short it through options is is like not feasible. Uh, I just watched the put, okay? The stock fell from 38.20 all the way to 29.76, which is uh, VWAP, okay? So that's cool that it's all of a sudden randomly obeying stock charting where it wasn't the whole day. So falls to VWAP, the put only went up uh, 40 cents. It was seven bucks. It was seven bucks at 
and it was 740 at 29 you don't want the stock to fall eight nine dollars and all you make is 40 cents and the reason for that is is because these are all overpriced af 740 when a stock is 29.97 is 25% of the cost of the whole share. You, you may as well short the stock <laughs> because you have an unlimited hold versus a put which has to be in the money by Friday. And therein lies the problem. You're paying 740 for 30 bucks, okay? Let me let me make it easier for you. We'll go to we'll go to what is the stock at? Oh, it's at 30. Okay. It's at 30. It was it was crashing into the 28. You're paying 740 for a stock that's at 30. So let's just say it traded sideways the whole week. That 740 is going to go to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Uh, because you're just getting the option to sell the stock at that price. If the stock fell to 20, you'd be in the money 10 bucks. This contract would be worth 10 bucks. Right now, it shouldn't, it's 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 only worth 740 because of speculation, uh, which is now 660. That's how rapidly it declined. Uh, 660 when the stock only moved up two bucks um, because it's not in the money it's out of the money uh, it's out of the money two dollars now right the stock you're, you've got an option to sell the stock at 30 the stock is at 32 so guess what you're not gonna you're not gonna exercise that because you'd have to buy the stock for 32 <laughs> so that you can sell it for 30 that's how a put works the the, the put the strike has to be higher than the stock to have any value at all by Friday. So puts is going to have a big problem today. We're going to, they're going to try and see if they can rally this again. I'm just looking at AMC thinking, uh, I don't think so, Tim, because AMC has been struggling. Yeah, it fell all the way to 316. AMC is a total dumpster fire. It's led by a jackass. We're going to touch it with a 10 foot pole. I don't like Ryan Cohen. I know a lot of you do. He rug pulled everybody on um, Bed Bath and Beyond, and then they diluted right after too. So it was like a double whammy. Um, you know, he apparently he is the only CEO who has no salary. He only has stock options. Good for him. I'm sure he's selling like a madman right now because he did on Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, why wouldn't you sell when the stock is at multi-year highs now? And that's what today is. It is a multi-year high. You have not seen these prices since a meme craze in 2020 2021 you haven't seen these prices on this stock pretty much ever uh because it's not worth it um you know um i don't trust the guy i'm sorry i trust i, I like keith gill keith gill was always legit always shared information always gave his reasons why he was doing something um and he was like dead on the money you know thousand percent cost of borrow that ain't gonna end well nine percent again I uh, don't see any short in any sort of fear over 9%. They'll probably scale in this time around. You know, they'll scale in here. They're not going to go all in all their bread in one basket here because at 38.20, scale in, make some money, and and scale out as well because there's, there could be instances of repopping. And I was showing before that a lot of people were selling the top. Someone sold like thousands of shares at the top. So all the selling is coming in. But if you go on my Discord, uh, where is it? Yeah. So if you go on my Discord and the link is on the video and in the description, you know, someone sold at 3670, thousands of shares. That's basically the top. He basically sold the top. Um, just something I've been following, okay? Um, so keep an eye if you have level two. Keep an eye on the level two data. I know Weeble offers it for only like two bucks. I pay about a hundred dollars for mine, and most people pay a lot of money for their level two. I don't know how accurate Weeble is, and Weeble might only have one um, brokerage on their level two, where mine has like EDGA, ADF, which is a dark pool, New York Stock Exchange, Arca. Um, it has a plethora. Uh, of of different um, you know IEX over the counter it has ISEG it has like Edge X it has uh, pretty much every well I wouldn't say every broker it just has an ass load of brokers the the major brokers 
so it's a, a lot more accurate. So I can kind of what I do, what I call whale watch. Um, I can sort of whale watch and see, you know, when you're seeing one share, one share, one share, whatever. Uh, when you're seeing 25, 10, you know, shit like that is probably retail. I'll buy 25 shares for 30 bucks. Uh, when you see 1,216 shares for $32, that's $40,000 trade. That's a whale, and he's selling in a dark pool. So uh, he's getting the hell out before the stock unhalts because it's on another halt. And, and this is another problem. Today it's halting. See, here it was halt, 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 halt. What it should have been was one, two, three, four, five halts. Next halt, 15 minutes. Next halt, 60 minutes. Uh, it sh it be, I don't know what they're doing over here, but Wall Street is in on the game as well. There's going to be a lot of volatility on this today, the whole day. The, I mean, the, the shares traded right now, the volume is 50, 51 million, and it's usually 12.6. And we are only one hour into the day. <laughs> so this is... I, I mean, the volume is going to fall off. I would not be shocked if we reach, easy to say, probably 80 million. 100 million is a bit of a stretch. That'd be 10 times the volume at 100 million. Well, 120 million would be 10 times the volume. 10 times the volume. I, I, don't, I don't know if we see it because it's, it's the beginning of the day is the most and then the end of the day is the most. Um, 40 million. I mean, this thing, I think it was already 20 or 30 million before the market even opened, which was uh, your key indicator that this thing was probably going to make a significant move in one direction or the other. Um, but when that volume dries out, the, the stock is going to fall. Uh, this is mostly by volume today because the stock is up 87%. And at one time, it was up 100%. So you, you know that's buy volume. <clears throat> when the buy volume dries out, the stock price will be, will fail to hold. I don't necessarily even think today is, is the best day to enter into a put. But again, it's already fallen six bucks off its high, almost to the dollar. And, and it seems to be maintaining some semblance of support here. Again, you have a boatload of baggies in there now. Um, back to 2020 levels of baggies, I'm sure, because the stock now has 300 million shares. So every, 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 every um, uh, ape out there who thinks that they're, you know, if we all buy one share, it's not the same as before. You need to buy four shares. You need four shares because before you only needed one. Now you need four with that four for one split. Um, that being said, three hundred and six million. Let's see, a thousand dollars at now thirty three thirty. Let's call thirty four a share. Thousand dollars at thirty four share. It's twenty nine shares. Twenty nine point four one shares. So let's call it thirty shares. Thirty shares. Three hundred six million divide thirty shares. If if ten point two million people bought thirty shares, you could own the float. Uh, I did a similar post about this when the stock was only $14, I believe. And it, that number was, you know, 3 million people. And I said, like, the apes, there was like 4 or 5 million of us in AMC before. We could really put the squeeze on them. Uh, I, did, I did buy 100 shares and I did a covered call. And I've already closed that. So I did miss this rally. Um, again, I'm not really concerned about this because, like, I make, like, like on a Tesla pump, I can make the same kind of, you can make, like, big money. Um, you know, Tesla's only up $6, guys, and the options are up almost 200%. We watch this kind of shit, like, every day. MSTR uh, is up $80 a share. This is something I watch every day. It's up 100%. Like the, the, because Bitcoin is rallied because no one knows if Keith Gill is talking about GameStop or if he's talking about meme crypto or just crypto. Uh, they don't even know because all he did was post an image. He didn't post anything. Uh, and they're, you know, random speculatory things are rallying on that randomness on uh, one guy. Um, 
<laughs> but one guy can change the world, I guess. And he's a, he's done it twice now. So the guy is definitely on the radar of Wall Street. Um, hopefully they don't flip him. You know, he made $54 million before, so hopefully they can't come at him and say, look, we're going to pay you $10 million. You're going to do, you're going to promote such and such, and it's going to bomb, and we're going to make, you know, X amount of hundreds of millions. You're going to take the fall, essentially, or retail is going to get blamed for being negligent and doing no DD and buying shit on nothing. So there's there's only the only losers is going to be retail and Keith will make money and a big big money will make. so I am a little concerned that perhaps he becomes tainted at some point we'll have to see what his other posts are and what his personal integrity is and uh, you know if he has any moral compass uh, about him because a lot of people the almighty dollar can really change you and we don't know what he's been through in the last four years we really don't. Uh, you know, he had to go in front of Congress and all that, and he was found, like, not guilty of anything, any wrongdoing. But you don't know what the hell's been going on in the last four years of his life behind the scenes. So, uh, you know, he could have maybe been trying to parlay those wins into other wins and perhaps lost. Because, you know, when you have that kind of money, it's maybe uh, maybe you aren't so cautious with your money because it was money you never had, so you're not really that attached to it. Um or, you know, has it really hit you? I know when I had a bunch of $2 million, it didn't hit me. <laughs> I thought, oh, whatever, it's just numbers on the screen, right? Um, and I made, like, crazy bets sometimes. Uh, sometimes trading 25,000 AMC in, a, in, in one single swing at the peak. Uh, 25,000 AMC at 60 bucks, doing a, doing a day trade. Uh, you know, that's a lot of volume to put on the market. That was one and a half million dollars. Um, I was very new, noob and novice back then. I mean, I was like, okay, but I wasn't anything like I am today with, with what I know now. I wouldn't, you know, even an iceberg order, I wasn't doing back then, which would have, which would have split the 25,000 shares into groups of 100 so that it wasn't so 25,000 share dump. It was 100 shares, 100 shares, 100 shares filling as 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 it could and then as, as i see the stock slump i could just cancel the order whatever's remaining so i mean there's a lot of trading nuances that you can pick up along the way and i hope some of the retail has done that i know that the people in my discord um have certainly done that i i guarantee you there's people posting gains here let's go take a look uh so we have Eight hundred dollars gains for RV. Nine hundred dollars GameStop. We have some more GameStop. Oh my lord! <laughs> Five hundred twenty-one percent. He bought it for two seventy-six and sold for seventeen fifteen. Uh, Three thousand dollar gain. Um, so we have we have gains coming in. Members. Uh, I don't want to show. Let me see something. Let me. I want to click something. Yeah, so I don't. I don't want to show names of the members, uh, but 241 members right now. Uh, it's kind of been hovering around that number for a very long time. Um, so, you know, a nice small uh, group of traders. Obviously, some gamblers in there because we have people playing. Uh, you know, GameStop or AMC, but um, small group of actual traders, a lot of actual relevant information and content, very cheap cost of entry, barrier of entry, 20, 20 bucks or 69 bucks if you want premium, which has access to all the classes, access to all the previous classes, access to DMing me. So if you're like, hey, what do you think about this strike or what do you think about this sort of, you know, um, this chart, etc. Uh, that you know, I can give you my opinion and priority answers if you ask me a question. Uh, I, other groups on the some are like 150 a month, or if if, if you want to compare it to say um, the Trading View or whatever, uh, where or uh, like where you're buying chart charting or patterns or like algorithms, you're buying these algorithms on these on these other on this other platform. Some of them are like fifty dollars, two hundred dollars. 
five hundred dollars like it, you know it, it ranges and all you're getting is indicators which you can indicate yourself when you learn how to do shit <laughs> you don't need to pay other people to indicate for you um in here we're not just hyping up FOMO, hyper pumper plays. We're talking about all sorts of stocks across the entire stock market. We talked about Boeing for a long time and Boeing just absolutely crashed, right? Costco all the way up, Lululemon dump, um, Arm, Arm, Taiwan Semi, uh, you know. Well, here's like my kind of active watch list, which is only one of five. I have five, I have 250 pretty, pretty much active watch that I link with the Discord day in and day out, right? Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but so, you know, you've got GameStop, AMC, Reddit, Rivian, Spirit Airlines, uh, Donald Trump stock, JD, MSTR, KMX, Alibaba, Moderna, ARK, Marathon, Baidu, Pinduo, uh, the AVAV, it's just the drone stock that I recommended at 90 bucks. 90. It's 191.40 right now. Up 2.6%, it's up 200% so on the options. It's insane. Drone warfare, guys, that's took over the whole battlefield uh, in the last one and a half years with with um, with uh, Ukraine and now with the Middle East and everything. Just in general, where the hell did that picture go? Uh, here we go. Uh, you know, canopy growth, not a pen. Paramount, PayPal, Pfizer. Zillow, Coinbase, Apple. You, you see what I'm saying? That like it's not a bunch of shit memes. It's actual stocks. Duolingo, Meta, SMCI. It's a whole mix. And then I've got uh right. And then I've got five watch lists. So some, that's the broad one. And then you ha and then I have and you have access to this every day too, which might just be worth the twenty bucks all on its own. You have tech and AI stocks. You have finance. You have energy. And then you have uh, banking and defensive stocks, okay? Um, I have over here, I post this multiple times a day for people as well so you can see the market movers. So last week, guys, McDonald's wasn't even on this. And by the end of the day, McDonald's calls had ran 5,500%. And McDonald's was like around where Intel is right now. It was the like 10th best stock on the market because they announced some you know, fucking $5 meal deal, like we're all supposed to run back and eat their garbage and fucking food that's not even edible and not even fit for, not even fit for like, if you're in a, starving in the desert, like you wouldn't even want that garbage. Google is the worst stock on the day next to HCA, which is insane. And this is like a couple days in a row now. Something's going on over there bad with AI probably. Um, KSS, Walgreens, Boot Alliance, right you know american airlines it gives you an idea united under armor for gives you an idea of what is running on the on the spy uh, i'm showing this s p 500 which is s p 506 <laughs> um you know there is dow and there's other ones i just don't really look at them but even that alone might be uh worth your while to be in the discord for um and i post that all the time and then there's one last thing that I do post as well, which would put GameStop probably going to fall on. And yeah, there it is. It's at the top. So I post this by, and this is done by companies market cap. I sort it by market cap. Or sorry, volume. I sort it by volume. As you can see here, the volume, like I wouldn't even worry about half of these, but um, this is just um, an unusual volume movers list. And then what they've moved by. And sometimes you'll see like a therapeutic stock down like 80%. So it, it's what what could be moving. Because in the morning, like I said, this was like 20 million volume. Um, what could be moving and, and what you could get into because it is rallying on some kind of pump, right? So right now, Clarifout is probably rallying. Uh, Care Cloud. Uh, uh, AC, I mean, but I, I fucking, I don't like any of the, the bios. I, like, I'm done with the bios. OCGN, that was it for me. <laughs> you know, uh, Bay Rat Pharmaceuticals, nah, I'm good. Um, to, you know, Novavax, I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's a scam. Cook the book some more and then um, pump your stock and 
then they'll let everybody know you cooked your book some more. Uh, good on that. So they're in, they're in live, uh, they're in line lives a r many reasons why you should probably join a discord the link like i said is below right here it's been there the whole time type it in don't join through youtube please uh, hit the like button follow subscribe share the video if you liked it share it if you found any sort of helpful information there and again you know i sounded bearish on gamestop but i'm really just speaking the facts and the truths about it i don't me personally i, I you know 100 uh, reaches 130 dollars or whatever that'll reach today i'd like I don't, how is it going to go higher than that? How did it even get there to begin with, with declining sales? <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. Uh, you know, Keith Gill is going to post again and the stock is going to go to 60, but like, I just, I don't believe it. If Keith Gill comes up with some underground secretive information and shows the CTP isn't nine and it, it's back to 800 or some shit, and my broker has been lying to me about CTP and is going to face a class action lawsuit over false CTP info, Okay, maybe we'll take a look at it, but I'm not really interested in it. I'm I'm still always just interested in um, what we see before us here, uh, and mainly the large cap, mega cap stocks. I think like that's just where by my bread and butter has been in the last uh, two three years since the since I did all of my COVID recovery plays, which was why I was in AMC to begin with. The bread and butter has been in these in these large. Um, plays and corporations and in reversals so that would have been a reversal 3820 reversing down to an area of support which you know, i've outlined for my discord people reddit looking like a double top at the 61 tesla becoming you know hitting no man's land and 90 rsi and now it's at 173 right i could go on and on uh, the, the stock market is is filled with a crazy amount of action and and volume daily. Uh, my my Discord they want me to go live. Uh, someone said Kevin go live, so uh, free from it all go live. So I think maybe I'll go live for an hour. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll hang out. We'll see how it goes. And because I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of questions uh, that are in my group, and, and we'll go from there, guys. Free.